What's going on guys? So I'm sure you can tell by the title what we're gonna be talking about, but if we look at my truck, if you've been following for a while, you know I've had these 22 by 12s and 33s on here for over a year. And some of you may have noticed that I have a tire light on and I've got a couple comments on it and stuff and a couple people saying, oh, you like cheaped out and didn't buy tire sensors and stuff. And no, that's not the case. At least I hope not because I did pay for them. But um, I have never got them synced. So if you know my Mustang, it's got aftermarket wheels and tires and it came with sensors as well. But they like immediately synced up as soon as I put them on. I've had no issues. I never had to sync them up or anything. They just automatically did it. So I guess the Ford Chevrolet things are different. But um, as far as the truck, I put these on and it just absolutely does not think anything is there so i got this little thing i actually got two things these are if you saw my other video you know that my tag lights went out so i got some new tag lights we're going to throw in as well but this is the tool this is gm specific it's supposed to work my only concern is on the videos that they have let's see so here's the valve stem so this is where it's going to be connected and on the videos they're like of course your valve stem is going to be like right at the edge on your normal non wide lip wheel so the sensor is going to be right here in the tire and they say don't do it at the wheel do it right here at the tire it, the signal will go through the tire but it's right there so i'm a little concerned this one being so far off I picked a horrible one right here on the curb rash but since it's so far set in it's like literally in the middle of the tire i'm hoping the sensor will detect we may have to try from like above or i'm not really sure um we're gonna go step by step with y'all so uh, i guess uh we'll find out hopefully it does work though so if we come over here and open this up I actually already opened it but we'll open it up again and check it out so already put a battery in it that's one thing that sucks it does not come with a battery so you have to go buy a battery for it but um, this little rubberized piece that they put on it definitely amps uh, the quality feel up a ton because this just feels kind of cheap plasticky it's got some decent weight to it so it doesn't feel too cheap but this little rubberized thing around it definitely helps make it feel a ton better so pretty much as far as I know, all you do is you go in, you set the tire sensor mode to start sinking, and then you come out here and you put it up to wherever it can detect and hopefully just hit this button and it start working. Um, but supposedly you do the front left, passenger, or front passenger, back passenger, rear driver, and that's how you sync them up. So let's go ahead. We're just gonna keep this rolling. So y'all can see an exact step-by-step. -step. Obviously you can go to the Chevy dealership and probably do this, but I don't know if they'll charge you this little tool thing was like, I think $15 shipped and everything. I don't know if they will charge you or not to do it at the Chevy dealership, but I just hate dealerships. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's scroll down. We're up to 12,071 miles. Okay, so it says you just do this and hold this down until it pops up. Okay, tire learning active. Okay, let's, I guess, just go try this out. So there's the sensor. Oh, snap, we are working. All right, where's this guy? Oh boy, bro, this is insane. This is actually working like advertised and perfectly. Holy crap, could it be this simple? Oh, where's the things? Oh my gosh, it's done. Look at this. Holy crap. Boom, we have got tires. And let's see, the light is gone. We have tire pressure. So yes, I've gone a year. Let me adjust this. 
have gone a year without knowing my tire pressure. Check engine lights on just because it's not cranked, so don't get going crazy. Boom. How simple was that? Product worked perfectly. I am extremely excited about this thing. This thing worked absolutely perfectly, exactly as advertised, and no problem whatsoever. I mean, y'all just saw it firsthand. I'm trying to get out of the sun, but absolutely perfect. So there will 100% be a link to this in the description. If you have a tire light or whatever, pick one of these up. Like I said, I think it was under $15. Super cheap. Well, it's good to have. If I rotate them, I can just redo it. I don't have to go to the dealership ever for this. Um, this one I think is GM specific. Um, so I don't know if it'll work any of the other ones. It said, I just typed in for my vehicle and it said GM, you know, we work with GM, whatever. So that's awesome. I'm pretty hyped about that. I know it's kind of sad that I went <laughs> a year without having my sensors, but this is for all you guys that were saying I was being cheap and didn't get uh, tire sensors. I did, and you just got proven wrong. So I did, I just, I don't know, I don't like ever saying that I'm lazy, but I guess that was just a lazy moment of me never going and getting that taken care of or never ordering this, but 100% worked amazing. So definitely awesome cheap tool and this company it did exactly as advertised so y'all saw that only took a couple minutes i'm hyped on that so enough rambling about that we need to go ahead and throw these guys in here because i've been rocking the old halogen look for a couple weeks now and it's honestly a little depressing so these guys were just really cheap ones off of ebay and uh, we'll see they have a, a year's warranty with them so my other ones lasted less than a year on the tag lights the other ones are doing fine and uh yeah so hopefully this will do good and i just wanted to say if you are the lighting company that reached out to me about sponsoring this truck i'd already purchased these and have gotten them before i got your dm don't think i just didn't want to work with y'all and i went and bought this i'd already purchased these and i don't want to go through the hassle of returning them and stuff so definitely we will get with you in the future though all right so let's pop this little guy out i don't know how good y'all can see that it's weird looking, but let's get up under here, pull that bulb out. Everybody was commenting in the other video saying I should have wiped it down after touching it. I know that's a thing you do with the headlights, but I don't know how important that is on the tag lights, but they, they did not explode. So I'm gonna go cut the lights on, let's check it out. All right, there she blows, nice and bright. So, as you see, nasty halogen, and then a nice bright. We'll see how do, good they do, but already tremendous. I mean, why why do this? I mean, I understand this is a LT truck. It's not an LTZ. I think the LTZs might come with all LEDs. I know they come with headlights and tail lights and all that, but I don't know if they come with these. But a couple dollar upgrade. Hopefully these last longer than the rest, so I'm gonna swap the other one out and then I'll catch up with y'all when it gets dark and we'll see how bright they are. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm pointing the camera at, but this is gonna be the first time seeing them. So let's see how bright they are. Oh yeah, they're perfect. They might look a little discolored on camera, but they are a nice pure white color. Cool. Pretty happy with that. All bright again. It's kind of hard to get the lighting correct. The reverse lights are what's kind of wrecking us right now, but she's bright. Back up and rolling, so no more halogens. Looking gross. These tail lights are bright too. LED tail lights, which they've been great, but. All right guys, well hopefully you did enjoy. We got the tire sensors situation all fixed up. We got the tag lights back looking good. Hopefully you did enjoy the video and I will see y'all in the next one.